Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on with IXL M9 which is kind of a sequel to IXL M8. Uh, here we are dealing with proofs involving triangles and these triangular figures are going to be a little more complex compared to what we saw the last time around but the setup is pretty much the same so more background you can go watch M8 if you haven't already uh, but for now let's just get started here. So we'll go to our statement that we were trying to find the reason for. And the statement is saying that side QT, okay, equals QU plus UT. So that the entirety of the side is made up of this and this segment. So with that in mind, we'll go to reason. And we'll see, um, is it additive property of angle measurement? Not dealing with angles. Is it additive property of length? Um, I think so. So we'll click that. Well, we'll come back to it. We'll, let's, let's do the other ones. All right angles are congruent, no. Angles forming a linear pair, no. Definition of angle bisector, no. No angles are being bisected. Complementary angles, no. Equilateral tri uh, triangle, no. Midpoint, no. Perpendicular lines, no. Supplementary, no. Hypotenuse leg theorem, no. Isosceles, parallelograms, quadrilateral, angle sum, and vertical angle, all no. So we're gonna go with additive property of length because we're dealing with the lengths here. Okay, good. Uh, so the next problem here, we have uh, same or similar type of diagram. We'll go down to the statement. Statement is RS is going to equal to RT over two. So RT divided by two. Okay, so how do we know that? Well, what we are saying here is that uh, this little segment here is going to be exactly half of that, right? If we're saying half of RT or, or TR, if we're saying half of that is going to equal to this, that means this is half the entire segment, right? And therefore, this is the second half. So with that in mind, and so is it going to be the additive property? No, no. Um, all right, angles, nothing to do with angles, right? So we can pretty much cancel everything having to do with angles out. Linear pair, no. Definition of angle bisector, no. Complementary angles, no. Equilateral triangle, no, nothing there. Definition of midpoint. Um, it might be, especially looking at the previous statement where we have RV equaling RU over two. That is also the definition of midpoint and they look very similar. And they're basically saying the same thing just for different parts of the triangle. So it's probably gonna be definition of midpoint. So we're gonna click that and click submit. Okay, so now we have our third problem here, and they give us a very similar looking triangle diagram, and we'll go down to our statements and reasons. So our first statement here is TU over TU plus UV over TU. So TU over TU plus UV over TU, okay, is gonna be equal to TX over TX plus WX over TX right there, okay. So this is one we've kind of seen before. This is going to be algebra, all right? Um, because we are recognizing the lengths here uh, are going to end up being equal. So even though we're not quite using the numbers there, we are using algebra to uh, move certain things around between statements two and four. Okay, so we're, now we're gonna go down to statement nine and it says triangle TUX this one is similar to T V uh, W. Okay. And through all the work they did here, they have shown that all of the side lengths are similar. So we're going to go over here and we're going to cite SAS similarity. So side angle side similarity and side angle side similarity, because the remember for similarity, uh, the, uh, all of the measures for the lengths of the uh, triangles are going to be proportional. They're not going to be the exact same between both triangles, but the angles are always going to be the same. So this angle and this angle are going to be the same, and this angle and this angle are going to be the same, and we have this angle right here. So with that, we'll submit. All right, and that is where I'm going to end it today. That's where I'm going to end it with my uh, class usually. Okay. And this is where I usually end it with my class. So study hard, take care, and see you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.